Hey guys, uh, uh, I have these vegs now because it is very late at night and I'm tired. It is who knows, like eleven thirty something. Um, uh, my grandchildren asleep, and I decided to make a video. I was gonna do a live stream, but I was like, this late, I don't know. Okay, so I just post a video. You can watch this in the morning, probably. You never know. Okay, so in this video. I'm going to be stacking from Pokemon from greatest to the latest Pokemon cards, right? Okay, so here we go. So, nothing like these giant cards or Pikachu V giant card, nothing, nothing like this. Talking about like these cards, just cards of cards to cards to cards, okay? And the cards. Okay, so here we go. So, I'm gonna start with the least damage. I'm gonna start with 50. I'm gonna go to 60. I'm gonna go to 70. Then I'm, oh, then I'm gonna go to 80. I have a 90 one right here. Try. Oh, yeah, we do. We do. We do. Okay, we have a 90, but I have a 100, that card, I think I have 110, yep, right here, okay, and then I have 120, then I have 170. Wow, yeah, oh yeah, this is a, a rare card. 170 damage, wow. That's almost to 190. Oh, I just dropped the trainer. Remember, it's almost to 190, which is a V. Which is a V. And by the way, I am giving away on my website, uh, well, website, you know, uh, at my merch, um, on my merch, I'm actually giving away um, here, I'll stay here real quick. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go get it. Okay, here it is. I'm selling these custom huggy wuggy, like squishies that are really soft and fuzzy. I wish you guys can feel them right now. Just take it to the screen. Poof. Poof. And then. Poof. I'm not, I don't have two issues. Remember, you should go check these out. I'll link in the description up there. Boop. Okay, so that. And then that. So, yeah. Okay, here we go. So, nothing like this. There we number. It's probably not that. Okay, there's my stack right here. Yep. Okay. So. Oh! Oh, I had another 110, that's fine. Make sure I didn't skip any. Good, okay. So I'm gonna start from scratch. Okay, so, I have a 50. Then I have a 60, a 70, a 80, a 90, and a 100, and then a 110, 120, and a 170. So the 170 is the top one out of all of these. So let me show, organize these out again. Hold on. I'm bad guys, hold on, I'm sorry. Okay, so 90, 100, 170, okay, here we go. So what's your cards? Okay. Okay, and then eventually 170 plus that. 20 more damage wiggles up to this card. Okay. Now. 
Um, I have another deck of cards. I have a whole entire tin of sword. Team sword and shield. Of these. And I have a whole bunch. Not just, not full of these. Just like, I mean like. I mean like it has. That's what I'm saying, you know. Yeah. So, okay, here. So I'm going to start. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, snap. Wow, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Wow, this is crazy. I've had a 30, 130, and 140. I need to go back into this deck. So by the hundred by the hundred and twenty, hundred and thirty, and then hundred and forty. Wait a minute. Yeah. Twenty, then thirty, then the forty. Then you only need thirty more. To get to this and this we're gonna set aside because we're still trying to find this number so i'm gonna grab these stick out the barcode go ahead and not on mine but if you want to bark scan this barcode right now take a screenshot or something or you probably already have one i'm just giving you the time while you're at it you may not need to just, I bet you guys already have one. I'm just throwing it out there. Oh, I didn't even know this was in here. The heck? Oh, this looks like a Minecraft one. In sort of a way, kind of. Okay, I have another 110. I'm just flipping through these things. Another baseball card. Why do I have... It's like a main gauge of essence. Another 130. Seems earlier, right? No, no, I don't know. Another 140. Okay. I have another one. Yeah. Gonna... Yeah. Another hundred. If you want to have the tap it, use my keyboard. Try to type in the value of how to sort sort an order of this. Diglett, Diglett, shout out to Diglett right now. Put it in the comments. Put it in the comments right now. Shout out to Diglett. Okay, here we go. Got the... Another hundred. Wow, we got a lot of hundreds in here. Pretty sure. In the hundreds. Okay. I just a little bit. Mewith. Oh. 130. Those are old fashioned cards. I don't know. Not that it matters. Okay. So, yeah. That is. This just tops it. That just does that. Taps it. Tops it off. Tops it off. So, yeah. That's about it. So that is that, and I will. I'm gonna put these into like containers to where it's to least okay. And next up, again, make sure you get to merch. Uh, kiss Missy, and then you got Rainbow Huggy. Uh, white Kiss Missy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, okay. And then I also have something else I want to show you. Oh, okay. I also have something else I want to show you guys. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Uh, look for it and look at 
that was what I was looking for. It. Um, Bougie Ornament. Oh, that was me. Oh, I remember. Drawer, silly me. Um, there was a science experiment that I want to show you guys how to make your own rainbow bookmarks for the towel for March Madness. I call it because on TV they call it March Madness, March Madness bookmarks. I just figured out a way for to make one of these. Okay, so all you need is a paper towel strip. You need two cups of water. I'm going to make a video tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock, okay? And you can write your name with Sharpie, Sharpie, or just black marker, anything. Anything that's black, okay? Even a pen. But it might be a bit, so don't, you probably don't use a pen. But you can try. Anyways, and then you just draw about that big of an inch where my finger is on the side. You'll draw the rainbow order, and then you'll do the same thing down here. Rainbow order. So, like, red would be right here, and red would be right here. Orange would be right here, and orange would be right here. Green would be right here. It just go on and on and on to the whole entire to fill it in. And then if you have one big on the end for a purple, fill that all in. Because that's how it makes the purple and the blue in the top bend like Gardens of Galaxy. And that's so really cool. I know at this point I'm just mambling about a pen. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, yeah, sorry. And then also, if you got a, a flashlight, oof, oof, sorry. Right. And then if you shine it through this thing, look, it creates like rainbow. Watch this. Look, it creates rainbow LED lights. Yeah, this is cool. If I were to unplug my light and do this, it'd be really cool. Look, disco light, yeah. Disco light, yeah. Okay, it's pretty fun. I like to do it. Snap bracelet. Jesus is my jam. Yeah. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that part. Um, make sure you like and subscribe, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Oh, speaking of which, one more thing that I found out. Here, let me type it in again. Okay, I have about 30 seconds to explain this. Okay, so about this card right here where it says 100 plus, if you're wondering what that is, uh, what it's telling me is that it is, this is actually its health, and this is its damage, 100 plus. So it does 200 damage. Now, I don't know if I got that right or not, but I think I did, I'm not sure. Okay. Um, and then if you want to do a lightning blast, it would be like two of these on top if you use those energies. You need two lightning bolts, and then you need one star. It's a V rule. The V rule is when your Pokemon V is knocked out, your opponent takes two prize cards. And I'll say it again. Whenever your Pokemon V card is knocked out, your opponent will take two prize cards. So long as I know have two prize cards, because like like as an example, I'll have a trainer and. One of these. Try not to use a rare card. Just grab a low card. Like one of these. Just they can grab whatever they want. I'm I'm not you know what? I'm not sure. Look that up. Can your opponent grab any prize card on Pokemon when your V is knocked out that thing? What? Yes, they can. They can. Okay. Okay.
Um, I hope you guys had an amazing day. Make sure you like and subscribe. Link in the description will be up. These, you know it. Peace.